I'm going to talk about Yom Kippur. And I will use Numbers 29. And we will start with verse 7. And uh, Yom Kippur and the translation of it is Day of Atonement. So there is a day that God wants all of us to repent of our sin. And this year, it will come on September, on October 12th. And, uh, and this is the 10th day of the month of Etanim, the seventh month. And they call it in the Jewish calendar, the 10th day of Tishri. So uh, this is Apostle Patrick Antoine welcoming you to our Sabbath program. And if you like this message, give us a like and leave your comment. So let's get started. On the 10th day of this seventh month, hold a sacred assembly. You must deny yourself. And guess what? This year, it will fall on a Sabbath day, next Sabbath. Today is the 5th, October 5th, and next Sabbath, guess what? This is the holiest day of the year. And the Lord said that I must do something special to prepare you for what it is to come next Sabbath. Now we are in the post-era of Christ when the Messiah, Jesus, died for us on the cross until you can see the sacrifice, until you can see the blood of Jesus I at work for you. You will never uh, find it necessary to repent of your sin. Let's continue. You will hold the sacred assembly. That means whether it falls on a weekday, on a weekday, you will consider it a Sabbath and have a sacred assembly. But the part that is interesting, this is God said you must deny yourself. You must hold a fast. You must fast that day. And we tell people it is a good thing to fast. To stay away from the things that you like and concentrate yourself into the the communication, communion with your God in, in order for you to set your mind to do, to repent of your sin. The Lord said to me to tell his people that this year, starting this Sabbath, you are going to put down everything that you have done wrong and come to God that you would like to correct into your life. It could be sins. It could be a revelation that you have received that you have not pursued. You imagine God tell you to do something and you have not pursuing it. This is sin because God said, you must obey me in every word, in every deed in every deed before him. When you receive a word from the Lord, you must consider it a command, a revelation that you must follow, that you must implement into your life. Let's continue. You must deny yourself and do no work. And do no work. Verse 8, present as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. 
a bad offering. We are going to stop right there. You are going to repent, but you must couple that repentance with a birth offering. You know, people do not understand that Jesus on the cross become the birth offering. When you set your mind that Jesus is the lamb sacrifice, you can truly take advantage of Yom Kippur, of the day of atonement. But at that time, they, they were like, you know, that was an agricultural nation and God asked for food offering. But now you can give to your pastor, to your church, a burnt offering thanking Jesus for dying on the cross for you. Amen and amen. Because you consider Jesus, Yeshua, the burnt offering, the lamb sacrifice. At that time, and God, no, let me mention that. It will be a pleasing aroma. A pleasing aroma. You imagine you repented of your sin and now you are presenting an offering that will please to God. We are going to stop right there because, you know, you're not going to look for a young bull, one ram, a seven male ram. You are not going to do you know, it will cost you too much. But what you are going to say, God, I'm going to give you my best, my best gift. A gift that will please to you in this occasion. Because I know you will cleanse me of all my sin. I know you will purify me. I know you will sanctify me. And when you give, you give to God your best gift, you will feel within your heart through the Holy Spirit that God has accepted your offering. It's like the same way in the beginning you have Cain and Abel. When Abel offers his offering, you know, it was pleasing to the Lord. And throughout this week before next Sabbath, I want you to think of an offering that you can give to your church or this organization that will be pleasing to the Lord, that will be an aroma pleasing to the Lord. But People may say, how can it be an aroma pleasing to the Lord because I am giving, I'm giving money. You know, the Holy Spirit mixing with your gift, guess what? It will be a pleasing aroma because the Holy Spirit is fire. And, you know, personally, you can see in all elements of the earth, God showed me in a revelation how, you know, if I concentrate, I can see, you know, a fire, not a fire, but like a, a fume coming out of my Bible. One day I couldn't. You know, I, 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 I've done that so many times. I can concentrate and see a fume. You see, right now, I can see the fume coming out of my, of my Bible. You know, so, you know, you cannot see it in the video. I can see a fume coming out. You can hold your paycheck, your check, the check that you're going to send. And if you are endowed with the Holy Spirit, you can see a fume coming out. Of it, because 
Everything on earth is spiritized. If you do not know that. And it's become a fume, a pleasing aroma. They, they are saying the prayers of the saint. And this is a great mistake when you're giving something to God. You don't pray over it. The prayers of the saint, they're like incense. You know, a, a, a well, the fume, the smoke of it will fill up the, the temple of the Lord. Until you can truly grasp the spiritual, like, you know, God can send an angel and or a spirit visiting me, and I feel the presence, and I concentrate. When I concentrate, what I see, I see a fume first, and from the fume, and I see the person. You know, whenever Jesus is visiting me, I see a fume first, and when I concentrate on the fume, and I can see, you know, Jesus coming out of the fume, and I can see God coming out of the fume, and, I, and, 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 and then I receive my revelation. And it's not me only, a lot of people, even a bad spirit visiting me, I can see a fume and then, you know, I can force that fume and see that evil spirit and that evil spirit and, you, you know, they must depart. I have power over them. I have power over Satan. I have power over wicked angels. And this is what dangerous when you see Christian doesn't want to embrace spirituality. They don't want to embrace spirituality to know what is going on around them. You will present an offering and the Lord said, your offering must be without defect. It's not you giving to God something that you have stolen, something, some money that you have gained wrongly. It must be without defect. And, and we see, you know, next Sabbath, with the bull you must offer a grain offering. Grain offering at play. And they said also that you must offer, you know, a one male goat as a sin offering. Verse 11. Include one male goat as a sin offering. Although you give a burnt offering, the Lord wants you also to give a sin offering. So two things you must not forget to give. The, a sin offering because you are singing. They are at play you just as God to forgive your sin and for you, you if you know you have a many sins you know start repenting now don't wait until next Sabbath start repenting now and God will bring more things to your mind for you to repent for start uh, 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 repent of your sin one male God as a sin offering in addition to the sin offering for atonement in addition to the sin offering and the regular burnt offering with its grain and their drink offering. This is why, you know, as a requirement, the Lord said, tell the people, all the seven sacrificial offerings and even free will offerings, they are at play next Sabbath. October 12, which will be the tent of Etanim, or a lot of people call it Tishri. You cannot, you know, you know, you, next Sabbath, because next Sabbath will be the holiest day of the year. The only holiest day of the year. You cannot, and this is a day to deny yourself. You know, from 6 p.m. on Friday to 6 p.m. on s 
Saturday. Deny yourself. You know, if you can do a fast, you know, if you don't have the health to do it, be careful. You know, you can eat. But if you are healthy enough, you may end it up doing it in order to be in communication and not be in sidetrack. You know, leave the, the phone alone, leave the TV alone, and keep on praying, keep on hammering God. You know, open your heart to God, share your project with God. And, and on the other side of that, you will enter peace in the month of peace. This is what is important this month. It is the month of peace. Peace. When you know the, the seventh month is the month of peace and we are in it right now, guess what? You will do the penitent work and you are going to be able five days later, you know, being able, you know, to on, on, on the on the 15th day to enter tabernacle, 15 day of it anim, to enter tabernacle with God, which will be on October 17. I want you to be ready. God is, will be on his own, and he's, he said, you know, he's ready right now. He's on his own, and he's going to practically forgive your sin. But you don't do lip service only you know be sincere because god said a, a contrite heart he will not despise he will not despise a contrite heart you must be sincere and totally resolute to repent of your sin my brothers my sisters there is a day and uh, and that day is called Yom Kippur, the day of atonement, when the Lord Jesus will make atonement for you. Yeshua will make atonement for you. You should call, uh, call on the name of Jesus and say, Jesus, pray the Father for me. I must repent of this, of that, and lay bare your heart before Jesus. Give him something to pray for you. You will pray for Jesus. You, you will pray to Jesus. You will pray to the Father. Me, I will even pray to the Holy Spirit to charge me up. And I will start doing it today. A preparatory for next Sabbath. And if you have a multiple of sin, start repeating. And more will come to your mind throughout the week. So you may be cleansed. You may be whiter than snow. What? Whiter than snow. So you may enter the shalom of the Lord. So you may enter the peace of the Lord. Be cleansed. Be sanctified. Be purified. Through the blood of Jesus. By next Sabbath. Until we meet again, may the Lord bless you and keep you in this journey to change your life. I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen.